According to an expert, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have cleverly positioned themselves to appeal to certain generations who will welcome their new projects. Archwell Productions, the production powerhouse of Meghan and Prince Harry, announced in July it is creating its first ever animated series. The project has been tentatively given the working title of Pearl, and focuses on the adventures of a young girl as she learns to step into her power, and finds inspiration from influential women throughout history, according to a statement on Archwell.com. A similar project is perfectly on brand for the Duchess of Sussex, and will likely be welcomed by an audience of young adults, according to brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer. The California-based expert told Express.co.uk. The animation project is very consistent with how she would naturally monetize and extend her brand in ways that are core to her brand DNA. And there is an audience for what her brand represents. Especially given how I think cleverly Meghan and Harry have positioned themselves in a way to appeal to General ZS and millennials, who will welcome content along that line, because they can relate to it. Mr. Schiffer had previously told Express.co.uk Meghan and Harry's focus is on topics such as mental health which hugely interest younger generations. Moreover, he added, the decision of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to speak candidly about their struggles have won over many young people who value authenticity. Meghan will serve as one of the executive producers of this animated series. Among other people in this role, there is David Furnish, Sir Elton John's husband and a leading Canadian filmmaker. Speaking about her project, the Duchess said, Like many girls her age, our heroine Pearl is on a journey of self-discovery as she tries to overcome life's daily challenges. I'm thrilled that Archwell Productions partnered with the powerhouse platform of Netflix, and these incredible producers, will together bring you this new animated series, which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. David Furnish and I have been eager to bring this special series to light, and I am delighted we are able to announce it today. Pearl is the second project announced by Archwell Productions to be created exclusively for Netflix. In April, the organization announced the creation of Heart of Invictus, a multi episode production putting the spotlight on a group of athletes preparing for the Invictus Games taking place in The Hague in 2022. This series will be launched in partnership with the Invictus Games Foundation, one of Prince Harry's most successful projects to date. Speaking about the Doku series, Prince Harry, founder of Invictus and Archwell, said, Since the very first Invictus Games back in 2014, we knew that each competitor would contribute in their own exceptional way to a mosaic of resilience, determination, and resolve. This series will give communities around the world a window into the moving and uplifting stories of these competitors on their path to the Netherlands next year. As Archwell Productions' first series with Netflix, in partnership with the Invictus Games Foundation, I couldn't be more excited for the journey ahead, or prouder of the Invictus community for continuously inspiring global healing, human potential and continued service. Meghan and Prince Harry revealed in September 2020 they had signed a multi-year deal with U.S. streaming giant Netflix. Six months after they officially stepped down as senior royals, they said their focus as producers would be on creating content that informs, but also gives hope. They added in a statement, As new parents, making inspirational family programming is also important to us. Three months later, in mid-December 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan also revealed a deal signed with Spotify. At the end of last year, they released a holiday special ahead of the launch of their Archwell audio podcast. 
In it, featured an array of famous guests including Sir Alton John and Naomi Osaka, who shared personal anecdotes and inspirational stories. Moreover, fans of the couple heard for the first time the voice of Archie, who wished all listeners a happy new year. An audience commented, Clever, ha ha ha, dot well, maybe. The couple is so unique, every headline will attract attention. They are unreliable, untrustworthy, and untrustworthy. Ten media fake stories or a hundred stories, they are branded liars, nothing more and nothing less. How about you comment to let us know?